Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today I'm very extremely happy to be bringing you guys my personal review of Stormflower Noir by Miss Cheryl Cole, Cheryl Fernandez, however you want to call her, she is who she is. So I do have have done a um, review on the first two in this from her with it being Stormflower and Stormflower Eau de Toilette. Um, this is Stormflower Noir. It is a darker, more seductive version and spin-off to the original two, but the notes are completely different from the original. Um, before I go into this, I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Lukey Hilton. He, I mentioned him in the last video with my Out to Pokemon Party review. Link is in the description below for his Twitter. It would not have been able to do this uh, review without him. I've wanted this perfume for so, so, so long. And he was able to work out a swap with me to get it to or for him to get it for me. Um, so I'm very, very thankful for that. So I will show you guys, um, as you guys saw in the beginning of this video, um, my promo picture that I did for this. I want to feature it behind me because I'm obsessed with this promo picture. It is hands down the favorite promo picture I've ever shot. Just something about like the bottle sitting in all the black roses. One of the first perfumes I've done, I have had envisioned in my head of what I wanted to do, and it came out exactly like I wanted to. This is not edited in any way, shape, or form. This is true lighting, true flowers, true everything. Um, it was not easy to do. It did take quite a long time for me to get the right shot, but I'm very, very happy with the end result. So, box looks like this. It says Stoneflower Cheryl Noir on the front. It's kind of got these stripes going around it. I don't know if you guys can really see that or not. It's kind of got like these hash lines going through it. Same hash lines on either side. Nothing on the top. And then the bottom is black. And then it says um, Eau de Parfum 100ml 3.33 um, ounces. Um, which I find really funny because most perfumes are 3.4 ounces. This is 3.38. Um, lid comes off like this like it did on the original. And then the bottle looks like this, and the bottle just sits inside there like that. So the bottle looks like this. It's kind of a matte black, shiny, like it's got like a, it's matte, but it does shine in the light. Um, and it says Stormflower by Cheryl there. And then you've got like this um, gold flower that we're, we had on Storm, the other two Stormflowers. It's just a little bit different gold this time. Um, I also got a cute little like miniature set from him that looked like this. Um, it is... Let's see if I can do a size comparison. It's super small compared to the original, like, not even com equivalent. This one is 3.4 ounces, 100 milliliters. This is 10 milliliters, so this is a tenth the size of this. I think these are super cute and adorable. And they even did a lot of, like, they almost made it look like a bud instead of, like, a fully bloomed flower, which I thought was super cute. So... Notes that read on the back of the box for this one. Um, Storeflower Noir Eau de Parfum introduces the glamorous and charming addition to Cheryl's collection. It captures imaginations with a tang of rhubarb, lively mandarin, and peril, pear. The floral heart is rich and heady with vaptu... Something tuberose. I don't know how to say that word. I'm not even going to try. Orange blossom and sparkling rose petals. The fragrance concludes with an irresistible brown sugar, addictive musk, and creamy sandalwood. The result is an opulent beauty that is understated the simplicity of Cheryl's approach to a fragrance classic, evo evocative, and elemental. So, I will tell you guys, this isn't what I thought it was going to be when I first got the notes for this a long, long time ago when it first came out. Um, this isn't what I thought it was going to smell like, but I do like it. It is very classic. When you first spray it, I do get that kind of a tang of the rhubarb. Um, which kind of adds like a little bit of a bitterness to the very opening. With that mandarin there, the pear almost just adds a crispness. I feel like in most fragrances that pear is in, it just adds a crisp bite to the beginning of the fragrance. Which I feel like the rhubarb does too. I feel like it quickly kind of dries down to the tuberose. Tuberose, definitely the standout note in this fragrance. If you do not like tuberose, you will not like this fragrance. It does have a crap ton of tuberose packed into it nice and... 
just shoved in there as I throw the box. Um, I do get that orange blossom and the sparkling rose petals. Rose always adds a little bit of a powderiness to a fragrance. So the two rose kind of balances out with that rose and it does create almost a powdery essence to the fragrance. Um, the orange blossom just helps add to the floralness of this fragrance. As it dries down, I do get a little bit of the brown sugar. Um, the mu But definitely that base is definitely musk and sandalwood. Um, mostly the musk. It's really kind of a tuberosey, musky fragrance. I do like it, but at the same time, it is quite mature for my personal taste. Um, and I don't mean mature in any mean, negative, you're old sort of way. I just feel like things with heavy florals and musk, like those two notes are really kind of more mature for me. And I do have some fragrances that I do like that are more mature in notion, but this isn't something that I feel like a 20 something year old um, would typically enjoy just because it is a little bit heavier on the florals. And I feel like most 20 year olds like that kind of fruitier, lighter fragrance. This would be a really, really good nighttime going out fragrance um, for someone of that age range. But I feel like this could almost be someone whose signature scent. Um, I know my mom really likes tuberose. So my mom doesn't really wear perfume. But I feel like she would really like this fragrance because she does like tuberose. She likes those kind of like heavier, muskier scents. So I feel like my mom might like this scent. But that's not a bad thing in any way, shape, or form. So... Lasting power, it does last about 10 to 12 hours on me. With it being a heavier floral, it does, those do tend to last quite a longer time. Um, I do think this is more of a fall, late summer, going out nighttime scent. This could be anyone's signature scent, though, but I do feel like office wise, this isn't a very office friendly fragrance, just personal opinion, because the silage on it does project quite far. The couple times I've wore this, people can tell what, like, they can tell you're wearing something. I have had people compliment me and ask me what I was wearing. Um, other people have said it did smell quite mature on me. So, there is my personal review of Stormflower Noir by Cheryl. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Amanda Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.